it's not every day you're going to be asked to determine the properties of a database, but when you are, you need to know where to find those properties. It's pretty straightforward. SQL Server Management Studio, Databases, select the database you're interested in, uh, right-click, drop drop down to properties, open up the properties window, and kind of scan down through until you find the specific properties you're looking for. Now this, this is fine as long as it's just a single database that you're interested in, but what if you want to see all of the properties of each of the databases on this SQL Server instance or you want to compare between two databases, I would then recommend using a query and in this case this is an old query from the SQL Server 2000 days. The documentation is in the MSDN, this article the MSDN the, that the link points to and what it is is just using the database property EX function to get back, to report back on each one of these conditions. Um, let me show you what it what happens. In this case we're going to look at all of the databases on this SQL Server and you can see that uh, recovery model, status, collation. What I've done is to line up or to, to organize first what I, what I want to see first, uh, updatability type, user access type, and then all the is this is and is that. Is it, uh, you know, is it auto close on? Is auto shrink on? Um, and, and is it published? And is it subscribed? And, and so on and so on. What if I want to compare two databases side by side? It's a little bit difficult here. What I can do is just instantiate the WHERE clause and say I want to compare AdventureWorks and Coach Nican side by side and there I have it. I can compare their property settings. Uh, all I have to do is remember that Coach Nican is on the bottom row and that's it for now.